Hey, welcome to Coffee and Tools. Lots of sanding, uh, as you saw. Uh, I did a nice clean dust on that, stained it. Uh, put a real light coat of polyurethane on it for right now. But uh, it's going to be, this uh, this long project, let's not go there. Let's take a look at a dado blade for a tack life saw and just see, can we do it? I think we can. Someone said uh, on a tack life saw you can't do, you can't put dado blades on it. So I've got a couple of sets here. Here's a real set, nice set I like. Anyway, I'll put that right there. There we go. Well, the dado blade is on top of the tack life saw. I don't see any problem here. Hmm. All right, let's see. Uh, this is 5 8 Arbor, yay, and this is 5 8 Arbor, but this is an adjustable one, and this is one of my favorites that I've used before in the past, so I'm going to see if this will go on this, and how much trouble we're going to have <laughs> doing this, because, yeah, this is not uh, something, actually this is kind of illegal in certain countries, go to jail or something, I, I don't know, so we'll, we'll find out, but we're going to uh, check it all out, my friend. Oh, yes. Now, the adjustable dado. Yep. That's why I like it so much. It's, it's adjustable. Now, this probably should work, but the problem you have with a dado of this type is this thing has a bit of a break on it, so after you hit the stop switch, it kind of you know, jerks and stops, which could throw this setting off. Uh, this particular type of data, what it does is, as you dial this in, the blade uh, wobbles more and more to create wider and wider uh, cutout. Yeah, it's a little strange, but it works. It, it does It does work as a cool data, but it's really thick, so that was the first thing I wanted to find out was whether this is adaptable to that. And just looking down here right now, I think uh, the answer is already no. But is you need a fairly long arbor shaft to mount the blades because obviously you're going to be taking up quite a bit of you know, space with the blades so I figured we'd find out. This is not plugged in by the way just so you know everybody at home knows it's yeah you know, she's not plugged in but let's see can be done and At least we got the 5 8 Arbor part right. Now we have a. Oh, yeah, there's nothing. Wow. Yeah, there's a. Uh, yeah. Yep, there's not enough shaft for that uh, dado kit. That's a shame because I really. I've used that kit before in the past and I really like it. So I guess dado might be out of question on this one. There are quite a few of the saws, actually you'd have a problem mounting that. And this one here is uh, no slouch, it's set up the same thing. The other types I have of dado stacks, and again, same thing, I would need a lot of uh, shaft on the motor, which I don't have. I only have a little tiny bit enough to mount a blade like this, so apparently dado stacking on this is going to be uh, definitely no. <laughs> no can do. <laughs> so. Thought we'd try to tackle that today. We gotta do some giveaway stuff though, right? Yeah, we gotta give away some stuff today. So, here's what we've got for giveaway today. Uh, let's pull some stuff out and see what we got. I'll see you over at the uh, work table here in a second. So how do you get in on this free stuff? It's easy. This is a, a mini parrot drone. And it's, like I said, it, it's a Lego man. It was in the, uh, I think the last episode we showed it a little bit. and. It flies, it charges up on a USB, it's, uh, it's pretty cool, and you can fly it around. It does have some kind of little, uh, I thought I had a camera in here someplace. I don't see a camera, but supposedly I thought there was a camera on this guy. Huh, maybe not. Anyway, it flies, you can fly it in the house theoretically, except my house. Uh, mm -mm. And we're going to give that away. So, to enter to get this in the next few days, what we'll do is, in the subject line, you just write uh, drone, and then all we need is your name and your address. Just email that to us, and that's at it's uh, coffeeandtools at yahoo.com. It can't be any harder than that, right? 
and just fill that out and we'll look at the entrance and we'll pick somebody to receive a a drone this drone next thing I've got is the Panasonic FC 28 it's an old camera but it's still in the box it's relatively complete uh, the charger everything is in here with it and it does work it has been tested out it's just a, it's an older one but uh, it's kind of a cool old Panasonic camera so if you're interested in a, a small camera like that uh, and you'd like a Panasonic for making YouTube videos then uh, all you got to do in the subject line is just put uh, let's just put the word uh, FC 28 that way we know what it is and again just your name and your address and write that to coffee and tools at yahoo.com uh, one of the first people that writes it in in the next couple days whatever will pick you and we'll ship you out this nice camera I've got a few more of these let me show you how many of these things I've got <laughs> okay we also have a let's see if we can find the plug for this guy uh, there we go yep we also have uh, T-Mobile hotspot yeah cool another hotspot by T-Mobile I have a stack of these things laying around so if uh, you put T-Mobile in the subject line and if you're interested for free we will send you out a T-Mobile hotspot cool huh <laughs> and they work pretty good if you're in a T-Mobile area they seem to work really well the other one I've got here is uh, Sprint again I uh, keep trying to get the name of this thing right I believe it's 8000 is the model number but this is a sprint uh, machine and it's a sprint hotspot and in the subject line just write sprint your name and address and we will draw for that now you gotta be in the lower 48 that's the only thing gotta be lower 48 that's the only place we're shipping to but we'll ship one of these prizes out for free to you if you uh, follow the contest same with this one here, I didn't mention it. Uh, put T-Mobile, and I'll tell you what, I'll give away, uh, how about three of these? Just make it interesting. So three people can win the T-Mobile hotspot if they want one. Uh, they'll, you'll have to get your own SIM card or contract, whatever, but you'll have the charger. Yeah, you'll have a charger. I hope you'll have a charger and a cable. And of course the hotspot so you can get up and going uh, pretty quickly. But uh, I'll get three of those, one of these, one of those, and the drone. And this week we'll, so either drone, uh, Sprint, FC28, or T-Mobile. Put that in the subject line and just name and address. Email that to coffeeandtools at you know, yahoo.com and I will go through them. And in the next three or four days we'll pull uh, the names up and we'll ship all this stuff out to you. And you win, you know, something. And we will continue to give stuff away because there's lots of stuff to be given away. So, hey. So, anyways. So, the Datto thing on a tack, on the uh, tack life saw looks like a big no-no. And I was even going to take a look at the old saw. But the old saw had the 30 millimeter arbor. So, of course, that's totally out of the water. This one here, you can't do it. I did try something years ago where you took a piece of rubber and stacked the blades together you could do that a little bit here with this one but you'd be so limited I think you could maybe double the size of the blade and that's about all so you're I'm gonna have to just you know notch 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 you know that's all I could do with that saw but I do have another saw that will take those which is the uh, yeah it's a monster 12 inch uh, craftsman <laughs> radial arm saw that's commercial style 240 volt monstrosity but yeah, I could put the daddles on that and I could do it the other way, I guess, if I was really desperate. I'm not. Uh, I have, in the past, I've also used routers and I've just done other things in order to get around uh, data work if I, if I have, if I have, if I have to have it, you know. So anyways, uh, we're going to get back to this uh, sometime in the next, oh, day or so. Uh, we're also going to be doing this, like I said, this UFO story thing. Uh, we're going to do the UFO event that occurred for me and I'm also going to put it on our new UFO tech channel just so that you know everybody gets to see it and then the UFO check tech channel will deal with that coffee and tools will deal with sanding and wood projects and tools and, and just fun stuff so thank you again uh, please like share subscribe 
and thanks again for watching Coffee and Tools. And it's whatever's going on in the garage this week, right? That's really the topic. <laughs> Adios.